This video shows how to replace the load control shaft and bushings on a John Deere 4430. The load control shaft runs through the front of the drawbar support frame. The shaft responds to the amount of draft on the three-point hitch. The response is adjusted by the load selector lever in the cab. When the shaft and bushings become worn, you will see hydraulic fluid leaking from this area. When a full sprayer was lifted by this tractor, fluid would run in a steady stream. This parts diagram shows the shaft engages the drawbar support on one side and runs through the transmission to engage the other side. The diagram shows the shaft is held in place by a snap ring, key number 19, and cap, key number 18, on each side. This diagram shows the load control shaft and how it engages with the arm. You can see the follower when the shaft is removed. You'll need two parts. The load control shaft is John Deere part number R46513. The bushings come in pairs with the seals installed. John Deere part number AR54481. Some aftermarket suppliers also have the parts. Notice also key number 21. These are spacer washers that go between the frame and transmission. You can reuse the ones you have. To remove the shaft, first drain the hydraulic fluid and remove the drawbar and lift arms. The shaft holds up the drawbar frame, so use a jack for support as the shaft is removed. Remove the snap rings and pry out the covers on each side of the support frame. Now you can see the ends of the shaft. The load control shaft is 27 inches long. Notice one end of the shaft is tapered. This is normally towards the left side of the tractor. To remove the shaft, push the shaft from the right side. It should slide out as you push. You may need to wiggle and move the support bracket as you push. When the shaft has been removed, lower the support frame. Now you can see the bushings in the side of the transmission case. To remove the bushings, use the old shaft inserted through the hole. You can feel the end of the shaft through the bushing being removed and line it up on the shoulder of the bushing. Use a two pound hammer with medium force to drive out each bushing. It helps to cut the end of the old shaft square so it has a good purchase on the edge of the bushing. A cut off wheel works fine. Look at the wear on this old shaft. Before installing the new bushings, put them in the freezer overnight. Install them with the beveled edge inward. Use a brass hammer to drive in the bushings. When you look through the side of the transmission, you can see the follower previously mentioned in the parts diagram. There is some hydraulic fluid left causing a reflection in this photo. Coat the shaft with oil and install from the right side with the tapered end first. Remember to replace the spacer washers between the frame and transmission. Replace the caps and snap rings, then the lift arms and drawbar. It's a convenient time to replace the hydraulic fluid filter and screen. Refill with hydraulic fluid. 